purpose declaration. And I'm hoping that all the comments that have been made have been taken into consideration and that we have something that we can say that's good, that's good enough for now. It is a living document, we have always said at the previous meetings, it's a living document. We can build, change, adapt as we go. But for now, can we be satisfied that this is a good declaration for us today? It's absolutely perfect, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> Um, no, I don't think it is perfect. Okay. Um, but it's, it's a very quick uh, point, but really I think very important. We have to recognise that austerity and climate change um, are leading to uh, movements of populations, to migration and immigration, which in turn, given the right turn in many countries last at the Euro elections and UKIP in, in, in this country, um, the issue of racism and all the Islamophobia uh, should be addressed, I believe. Um, I, I'm going to an organising meeting tonight in our local area where we're organising against a fascist group which is going to march down our streets in um, a couple of weeks' time. I don't want to go into great detail, yeah. but just to suggest that on K, uh, where we say support for developing countries struggling with neo-colonial exploitation, uh, uh, we add anti support for anti-racist, anti-fascist struggles in Europe. Right, sorry, can you uh, indicate so I can call you in to speak and then can you everyone speak up clearly for the translators and interpreters as well? Oui, uh, bravo. Moi, ça me, je trouve que, bien sûr, ça n'est pas parfait, mais c'est euh, une, une amélioration et donc... Euh, ça sera encore meilleur la prochaine fois. Euh, la, il faudra qu'on le traduise en, en, je le disais, dans des langues en anglais, j'imagine déjà, qu'on le traduise aussi en français, euh, pour qu'on vérifie que les formules sont, sont fluides, parce que ça n'est pas toujours le cas, mais ce n'est pas l'essentiel de notre, de notre discussion. Euh, moi j'avais deux amendements et puis je ferai une proposition dans le sens du, du camarade qui vient d'intervenir. Bon, ça, ça paraît un petit amendement, mais dans le, dans le titre, un éco-socialiste approach is, moi je dirais, our éco-socialiste approach is. C'est juste pour éviter les textes qui sont des textes euh, quasi religieux. L'éco-socialisme, c'est cela, et tous ceux qui ne sont pas d'accord avec ce qu'il y a là ne sont pas éco-socialistes. Il bon, faut rompre avec ces, ces, ces manières de voir. Donc nous, nous définissons nous-mêmes. Nous ne prétendons pas définir. Euh, C'est euh, peut-être un détail. Euh, et la dernière chose, c'est euh, dans la conclusion, we aim at true citizens revolution, revolution across Europe. Moi, je dirais tout simplement, we aim at a, a citizens revolution uh, across Europe, puisqu'elle n'a jamais eu lieu. Donc, je ne vois pas la nécessité de distinguer une vraie révolution citoyenne d'une euh, fausse, fausse révolution citoyenne. Voilà, c'était, ce sont, vous voyez, deux petits amendements qui ne sont pas très importants. Euh, après, pour, pas, je suis d'accord avec ce que dit le camarade ça, sur le, la question du racisme, et je propose une autre manière peut-être que de, de l'introduire, euh, qui est de dire que, en tant qu'éco-socialiste, parce qu'il faut faire le lien avec la question éco-socialiste, en tant qu'éco-socialiste, nous reconnaissons le fait que tous les humains sont des semblables puisqu'ils partagent le même écosystème. Et euh, l'écosystème qui rend la vie humaine possible, la rend possible en Europe, en Afrique, la rend possible pour euh, des musulmans, ou pour euh, des chrétiens, ou pour des athées. Euh, et donc, c'est la base matérielle du fait que nous sommes tous êtres humains des semblables. Ce qui me semble être philosophiquement euh, la, la, la bonne réponse euh, aux visions qui sont celles du choc des civilisations, euh, qui sont celles de l'affrontement entre les communautés selon leur culture, leur origine, leur, euh, leur religion. Donc, si vous voulez, je peux rédiger une phrase qui dit cela, et qui dit que nous reconnaissons tous les êtres humains comme des semblables, puisqu'ils partagent un même écosystème, euh, et que donc, nous envoie l'écosocialisme euh, euh, lutte contre les conflits euh, racistes, communautaires, euh, euh, entre, les, entre les hommes. Ça peut être une formule de cet ordre-là que je peux vous rédiger si l'idée fait consensus.
Okay, I mean, it could be we need to recognise human equality and we'll resist scapegoating or no, racism, no, 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 no. something like that. Can I suggest that actually this is both, I think you're talking about action continually, which is slightly annoying, but um, I, I suggest for the moment we accept Martin's formulation, which does actually commit us to some action. And then if we want to make a, a more elaborate statement about the philosophical basis on which that action is based, then that, you know, our colleagues could draft it and bring it to the next meeting. I think it's much easier to commit us to the, the, the simple Yeah, but we, need a sense, we need something that will fit He's in to this format of a very short sentence. He's given you the wording. Okay. Say Fine. it again. I gave the wording of support of anti-racism. Adding at the end of K, mm -hmm. uh, so it says support for developing country struggles against neo-colonial exploitation and support for struggles against racism and fascism in Europe. Yeah. Well, okay. <clears throat> that sounds I good. Find, I find one point which is I don't know why at the end of the list, which is rejection of the proposed EU US single transatlantic market. I, I, I would single out this point and I would say that we will undertake common direct action against this, uh, uh, this pact because it means that our previous tasks will be harder if it is signed. It's both more ur urgent than others okay. and more significant <coughs> and more general than others because in each of these points we will retreat if we accept this pact. And I think this is a good occasion to, to, to show up. So we could start that sentence, uh, common direct action to be planned against I would the... add immediate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would add immediate. Immediate, immediate yes. yes. We're running out of time. Um, right, we'll go around the room. Jane, I think you might have had your hand up and I didn't see you before. Jane, Pete and Stefan. Could you speak up a little bit? Sorry. sorry. It's just a minor point of the grammatical quibble. I'm sorry about this, but B, um, could we rephrase it so that if we, the basis of everything we do is respect for our environment and find that capacity? It's just that the sentence is a bit clumsy. That's all. That's, that, 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 I mean, that so the say the words again the way so you instead prefer. Of respect for our environment and find that capacity to be fundamental to everything we do, yeah. we could just rephrase it and it means the basis of everything we do is respect for our environment and its finite capacity. I think that makes more, makes more sense, that's all. But it's just a little grammatical quibble. Well, we're on, if we're going to be uh, on minor points, um, just for a point of start, could we remove the brackets in the first, second paragraph? Just put commas instead. It reads better, it looks better. Yeah. yeah. I think it should be okay, uh, Stefan. Brackets. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> as as we have worked, uh, we have worked, 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 we sur le texte avec we have worked, we have worked, we have worked, we have worked, je pense que le texte, ce serait bien qu'on l'adopte aujourd'hui. Personnellement, je suis d'accord avec toutes les propositions. Je dirais quand même sur la proposition de Piotr, que euh, je pense que ce serait peut-être judicieux de mettre le neuvième point rejection, rejection of proposed EU US single trans transatlantic market, de mettre ça en 1, mais c'est tout. C'est-à-dire, comme on n'a pas euh, discuté d'une action, mm -hmm. comme on n'est pas en train d'envisager euh, en tant que réseau de porter une action là-dessus, bon, tu mets le doigt sur un problème, parce que c'est une question urgente. Mais euh, on ne va pas dire là, dans ce texte, qu'on va organiser les actions maintenant. On dit que c'est une question urgente et on s'arrête là. Et souvenons-nous de la question la prochaine fois et voyons comment on peut, dans les actions qui existent et qui se développent sur ce, cette question-là, à l'échelle continentale, mouvement syndical, gauche politique et syndicale, etc., essayons de voir comment, en tant qu'éco-socialiste, nous y intervenons et avec quel argument nous nous opposons au traité, au grand marché transatlantique. Et, et, euh, et, et au-delà de ça, je, vois, enfin, je pense qu'on va déséquilibrer le texte si on rajoute plus hein, euh, sur la question de l'antifascisme, de l'antiracisme. Je suis d'accord. Donc j'invite François à rédiger une petite phrase euh, 
et peut-être que quelque part elle doit s'intégrer dans le préambule, parce que c'est quand même le socle sur lequel on, 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 on a développé l'argumentation et, et les revendications, et c'est assez fondamental, et c'est pas euh, exclusif, on peut à la fois dire ce que tu as proposé sur la, que la question de, de l'humanité et de sa dépendance par rapport à l'écosystème, et dire qu'on s'engage, euh, ou qu'on considère l'action antiraciste et antifasciste comme importante. Et les autres propositions sont d'ordre grammatical ou, euh, ou euh, sémantique, et je ne vois, vois pas de raison de, de s'y opposer. Donc, euh, voilà. Mike uh, Just one point. There was a suggestion that in the second paragraph, the phrase the perpetual pursuit of production and consumption loses its brackets yeah. and becomes commons. Yeah. I don't think we should do that because it changes the meaning considerably. No, it doesn't. The, uh, okay. the problem with the word productivism is that it's not a word in English. Yes, it is because it's written there. But it's a very common word in at least the Romance languages. If we use it in English, we need an explanation of what it means. And the correct way to present that is to put it in brackets after the word. If you take the brackets out and put commas, it's not clear what is productivism and what is not. It's just a Okay, Mike, 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 can I just suggest that perhaps, although this isn't a word we have commonly used, um, well, let's start using it more commonly, and um, I think that's fine. And I think it will become more clear. I want, I want the term just transition to become a common term. It's not yet. These are words that we may use because we're going to be talking across Europe as well. I don't think the essence of that is a problem. I do appreciate the minor tweaks that everyone is making, but I, I would like us to... Um, to consider, are we happy? Is there something else you want to? Yeah, I think we can say I E I. Sure, sure. Stop. I E, yeah. I, 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 oh, that's it. I accept that compromise. Yeah, accept it. <laughs> are we all happy with the declaration as amended by the meeting today? Yes. You can do that. No, yes. certainly not. <laughs> no, I refuse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which mean that. We, uh, we haven't had a tournament yet. Finalized this version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We send it to all the participants here. We start to collect the addresses of the referent yeah. the referent comrades for the network that will be in charge to channel and to get the information flow through the organizations or in, in inside all uh, current and organizations. That we publish it on the respective websites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that well, um, the adoption of this declaration uh, by applause and by waving hands. <laughs> uh, take a picture. <laughs> well, that we, we, it gives us the capacity now to clarify the position of each organization. You are a visitor to this meeting, you are observer uh, as an organization, or you, uh, or you adopt it. Or you adopted it and you're a member of the network. Clear? Yeah. Okay. That's clear? We agree about that? Well done. Okay. <laughs> next. So then the next document, Green Energy for All. Um, you uh, find inside the text what is uh, replaced, what changed. So uh, still there can be, uh, uh, can be bad English but I made an attempt to uh, integrate all the remarks of the comrades uh, uh, that comrades have made in the discussion yesterday, uh, so to uh, avoid ambiguity and, and uh, unclear positions. So uh, you have the hijacking instead of the racketeering. Um, you have the sentence, we support action to revert and prevent such extreme outcomes in the first uh, paragraph, the first uh, 